All right, so after going through uh, hours of trouble the other morning, I decided that I'd share with the other readers or the readers of my blog how to podcast on a Mac because I spent countless hours trying to figure it out. So I have a MacBook Pro and I also have a microphone. I'm just going to knock stuff over here. I have one of these blue microphones or blue snowball is what it's called. So I'm going to go through the process of showing you how to get podcasting with the microphone, headphones, Skype, and a couple of pieces of software, which includes Audio Hijack Pro and Soundflower. So we're going to open up the Audio Hijack Pro app. You're also going to need Skype. We have Skype open up here. Um, we also have Soundf uh, Soundflower. All right, so all this is set up. Uh, Soundflower. This is how you go through the process. So, let's say you're on Skype and you're trying to uh, record a call that you have with somebody. What you want to do is you want to go to Skype preferences. You want to set the uh, audio output to Soundflower 2 channel. You can close this. The audio input is the blue snowball and for the ringing I've set it to the built-in output internal speakers because it really doesn't matter um, where the ringing goes. If you really want, you could send it to Soundflower Channel 2 or 2 Channel if you really wanted to make that part of your podcast. So you close that. You then load Audio Hijack Pro. I've already created a couple of these channels, but let's say I hadn't. So what I went and did was I created the Blue Snowball channel. So what you do is you click Add. You want to select an audio device. And for the input device, you want to use the microphone that you're going to end up using. You can use the built-in microphone in your computer or any other type of microphone that you have. For this demo, I'm going to be using the Blue Snowball. For the default uh, output device, um, you can leave that as... Actually, we want that to go to... Soundflower 16 channel. So what I'm going to be doing is mixing down um, the my audio through the microphone and the audio coming from Skype. And so the way you do that is by setting up first the channel for Blue Snowball, having it output to the Soundflower 16 channel. As you saw before, we took the output from the Skype and we set it to Soundflower 2 channel. So what you would do is you would actually go through and create another thing called Soundflower 2 channel. And you're going to take the input from it and send it to a Soundflower 16 channel. The reason that I'm setting this other channel is because I don't want to hear feedback in my headphones, which was the uh, first result that took place after I tried out everything else that exists on the internet. So you want to output that to 16, uh, Soundflower 16 channel, and then you want to add an effect and click on 4x effect and auxiliary device output. And this is going to let you put the output into your headphones. You want to hear what the person from Skype is saying, but you don't want to hear what you're saying through the microphone. So we have that set. The last thing you would have created was the Soundflower 16 channel. This is the channel that we're going to end up recording rather than going through and recreating it since you already know how to do that. I'm just going to show you. Um, what you have set is you have the input device is Soundflower 16 channel and you silence the output because really you don't want to be hearing the, out, the mixed down version of 
uh, excuse me, your microphone talk or the sound from your microphone as well as the sound from Skype. All you want to be hearing is the sound from Skype so that you can have a conversation. So let's say that you're ready to go and you want to record everything that's taking place. You would hijack each of these items. As you can see, there's nothing coming from Skype to channel right now because we haven't made a call from Skype. But there is, you can see the volume moving from Soundflower 16 channel, which is what we're recording because it's taken the input from both the Blue Snowball and the Soundflower 2 channel, which is going to come from Skype. So let's make a test call. At this point, uh, what you would do if you were recording a podcast is you would click record on the Soundflower 16 channel, which is going to record both your microphone and Skype. We're going to make the call. As you can see, the volume was moving there without me talking, which is because uh, the Skype test call system was giving me a response. So I'll stop talking now and let it go back. All right, so we went through that process now and we don't need to look at Skype anymore. All that you need to do at this point is stop the recording from taking place once you're done with your podcast. And it will now be in your recording bin. So this is the latest one. Um, three, four. So this one is what we just recorded and I could load this in any application that I want. I tend to use um, Audacity is the application I use to edit it but you can choose any sort of editing. But now you know how to record your podcast.